to be genuine towards the people you serve. Be genuine, be kind. There might be some who will speak to you a little bit rough. No problem, you're in a position of authority. You can excuse their roughness, but what are they saying? The other day I mentioned how I was trained to correct yourself when someone corrects you and they are right about what, you are, what they have said. Even if the manner of their correction was unacceptable. Someone swears you and screams at you and calls you all those names we were talking about. And then they said, this is what's wrong in you. Excuse all of that, but look what they said. Is it correct what they have actually uttered? If yes, just change yourself. Don't worry. You won't regret that much. Excuse their rant. That was them. That spoke more about them. But in the interim, they highlighted something beautiful for you to look into. Look into it. Don't discount it simply because of the way it was pot at you. No. My beloved brothers, my sisters, being genuine towards those whom you are serving is to put yourself into their shoes and to think about their issues and their problems in whatever department of government you may be in. There will be people who might pester you. There will be people who might be a nag. And on the other hand, there might be people who are your friends. Remember the favoritism and all the isms that come in. Be mindful of it. Be mindful. It is correct that when you know someone closer, you tend to trust them a little bit more. What they may have said to you might hold greater value because you know them. That's human and that is acceptable to a degree. Sometimes you say, can you write me a reference? And the person writes you a reference from whom? Someone I know, someone responsible. That doesn't mean you did something wrong. You were only trying to confirm it because you needed someone you already trusted. But that doesn't mean those who don't come with it are not really trustworthy or that they are lying. You probably have to go one more level to verify that. That having been said, don't just rebuke people. A beautiful verse of the Quran in Surat Al-Duha. I'm sure most of us know it off by heart. It says, As for the beggar, as for the beggar, when someone comes to beg from you, Allah says, La tanhar. La tanhar means do not rebuke. Do not belittle. If you think of that verse, it is just divine. Because the Almighty could have told you, the beggar, give or don't give. Right? If someone says, what should I do when a beggar asks? What do you expect as a response? Give him. If you have something little, just give him. You know, put something in his hand. Or they might say, don't give. You are encouraging begging, etc, etc. These are the answers. The Almighty came up with none of those two. Because that decision, he left it to you and I. But he said, no matter what you do, be careful. Don't belittle this man. 